Professor Soborno Isaac Bari's plane just arrived in Johannesburg, South Africa. Professor Dr. H.P. Klopper came to the Johannesburg airport on behalf of the Da Vinci Institute to welcome Professor Soborno Isaac to South Africa. Many Bangladeshis and Indians came to the Johannesburg airport to greet with the professor. <laughs> Academics, businessmen, mathematicians, psychologists, educators, and scientists of South Africa sit in a circle to interview Professor Suborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics. The interview is hosted by Professor Dr. Ben Anderson. We welcome you to South Africa and we thank you so much for joining us. You're sitting in front, that is Professor Ben Anderson, a little bit older professor than you. <laughs> but he is indeed a brilliant mind himself and it is, he's our executive chairperson of the Da Vinci Institute and he's in charge of the entire institute. Thank you very much, Prof. Anderson, over to you. So, so the idea is that we will engage and that hopefully in the short time that we have together we would leave with some ideas and be connected in a totally new galaxy. Connecting strangers and hopefully take a journey. I think too often we are passers-by and we don't connect. So I hope that you can connect and that some of us can reconnect in the conversation that we will be having. But it is all about the energy flow. So thanks for allowing us to bring you and your family into this intimate circle. There are beautiful minds around the table. Uh, some of them asked to bring a guest with them. So there's also new energy around the world, around this space. Of particular importance this morning is that um, we want to talk about looking forward and backward at the same time. So I almost want us to stretch our minds like the shamans would do and elevate their mind to the level of the condor looking at tomorrow rolling in while yesterday is rolling out. So this conversation should not be time bounded. And I hope that we can all stretch ourselves in our discussion to go beyond what is known to us, to an unknown reality. So over time, uh, Professor Bari, you have now become part of a circle of scientists, acknowledged most probably because of your expertise in algorithmic engagements. You can do calculations, you can, do, you can play with, with numbers, to a large extent, the world in the last century has been governed by numbers. And to a large extent, in my estimation as a psychologist, numbers have ruled the world. So I'll be curious as an opening question to get your perspective of what do you think is the reality of the algorithm in this timeless th uh, space of yesterday and tomorrow. Okay, so um, I think that I honestly don't have that much experience because I am only nine and I have not seen the last century. I have not seen how the num these numbers or algorithms, as you call it, have affected the world. But I think that I have just enough experience to say that, yes, algorithms have been affecting the world <clears throat> Un uh, very remarkably in the last few uh, years because the, the algorithm the algorithm is the thing that drives all our mathematical and scientific calculations. It is the th uh, and mathematics and science has been well, really the thing that has been advancing and improving and accelerating in these past few years. But also numbers rule the world in the terms of well. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, 
social media. We have been uh, become a lot more involved with technology, especially our phones and computers and whatnot. In fact, I see we are recording with phones right now, and some people are on their phones. So you, you can really see the mark that uh, all this math and science has made on our world. If you can see the mark that our algorithms and our technology has made. So, it has very remarkably ruled the world, and I think that it will become even more powerful on us if we don't try and change something over time. And some people are even uh, uh, criticizing this kind of thing like it's an addiction. But technology is uh, going to make its course whether we like it or not. And artificial intelligence is going to be something out of our control in the next few years especially. Because uh, artificial intelligence, now we created it with an intent and with uh, some programming lines of code. But consciousness can allow something to do whatever it wants. So all our algorithms might turn into androrhythms. So we really don't know whether our algorithms will continue ruling these kinds of numbers or maybe the androrhythm will take the throne in the future and maybe even we will be wiped out by artificial intelligence. So I feel like the algorithm's reign has been long and this might come to an end soon. But it has been ruling over the world for these past few years, for no doubt. Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, and Suborno Isaac Bari are having a conversation while drinking coffee. Congratulations on winning the Da Vinci Laureate Award. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton. A big fan. Congratulations, Da Vinci Laureate Suborno Isaac Barry. Thank you, Albert Einstein. A big fan. To Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming.